This package was supposed to arrive yesterday. Yesterday, overnight shipping. But the postman just decided, no. I'm not gonna send it to you yesterday, but have it here today. So hopefully the teeth are doing all right. Let's get this, let's get this open. This knife is really hard to use. I know it's not a box cutting knife, but whatever works, right? So, there we go. Let's see, looks to be packed really good. Bought these two teas. I have two tarantulas in here. Bought both of them from a friend of mine. Nothing else in the box. Let's just get this opened. Oh yeah, the names of them are on the top. Oh wait, just one name. This is the Ternochilus Marinus or Ternochilus Marinus. I don't know how you say it. Tan color form. So you guys know my OBT, right? The Miss Lord Have Mercy. Yeah, this is a different locality. So this OBT, Orange Baboon Tarantula, is not orange. Wow, yep, it's not orange. This one is, I think it's gray, gray in color. Not too sure. I hope it's not running around in here. I hope it's in another container. Oh, nope, it's here. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> I thought he like put them in smaller containers and put them in this deli cup. So I'm guessing there's another tea in here, which I gotta look for. Where's the other tea? Oh, there it is, hiding away from me. So this one is a, yeah, I forgot what's the name. Google time. All right, found it. It's called the Iridopelma hirsutum. Hirsutum. I'll put the name on the screen over here. So this tea, I read that we keep them like Avix, the Avicularia genus. You can see its legs over there. So let's go get their enclosures. I bought this Critter Keeper from the pet store, as you saw. Well, we're gonna get the OBT in here. Now we're gonna get some substrate. Oh, by the way, that's the enclosure that I'll be rehousing the Iridopelma hirsutum. Yeah, I'm still butchering that name, huh? Really, why'd you go to fly around the place? But anyways, we're gonna get some substrate into the enclosure. I'm always not prepared. I don't have anything to Grab the substrate. Guess I'll just have to use my hands. Guys, be prepared before you do anything. Don't be like me, please. Now I'm gonna make a huge mess on my floor. Watch me. Okay, first one was a success. Second one. Hmm, not bad. I actually did spill a little bit. Why am I not surprised? That will be it, I guess, for this enclosure. I mean, I think I should go get something to put inside so that the OBT can web up. Hmm, let's see what I can get. Ha, ah, found something. I'm gonna be using this plant thing for an anchor point. So I guess I'll just stick it in like that. How does that look? Something else for this area. You know, my room is just a place where all the junk are just tossed onto the bed. I don't sleep here by the way. This thing, yep. I'll put it like in an angle, that way you can use it as a burrow and just web all over it. We'll get this thing out first, and then we'll dig, 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 dig. Put this thing somehow at an angle, something like that. Cover it up, push it down, quite secure. Then I'll just toss in some substrate to make it like a burrow. Pack it down because like I mentioned in one of the videos, I think it was my giving substrate to my largest tarantula, I did mention that tarantulas like to walk on solid surfaces and rather than those loose substrates. So this is what I'm gonna do. There we go. So now we get the plant and I guess I'll just poke it at the corner, something like this. How does that look? I think this enclosure looks pretty decent. I don't know, let me know in the comments. I know it's really simple, but it'll thrive in this, no worries. These guys don't need any complex enclosures. They do just fine 
when there's substrate and something to web on. Now, the moment of truth, the moment of challenge. OBT, okay, I think this is gonna be a breeze because I'm gonna just put this in here, cover it up and use my tweeters through the lid. Oh yeah, it last molted mid-June, so a month. first got my handy tweezers let's just open this oh there he is there she is okay this is gonna be a bit of a challenge hmm seems pretty well behaved don't want to speak too soon because you never know it's an OBT whoa okay there we go we can take a good look at her now Beautiful. So this, yep, guys, this is an OBT, the Terranoculus murinus, but it's not orange. And it's not gray either, so I was wrong. It's more of a brownish olive color. No attitude, thank goodness. This girl is a good girl, aren't you? Come on, go down. Enjoy your new home. And there she goes straight into her burrow awesome now I don't have to worry if she will use a burrow or not she just goes in straight away just gorgeous love this tarantula you gotta love your OBTs guys even when they're not orange okay so there's the OBT I'm not a very wise guy so now let's cover this up before she changes her mind because like I mentioned it's an OBT water dish later i know you guys are going to comment on it yeah i'll put it in for her later now for the iridopelma i'll just call it iridopelma i don't want to butcher the second name anymore the species name yeah the iridopelma is the genus by the way for those who don't know let's get into its enclosure by the way like i mentioned i'm gonna house it like an avix so a lot of cross ventilation there's like one two three four about six or eight ventilation rows so that's what we're gonna be housing it in oh yeah coconut fiber substrate as well as a plastic plant for it to climb and web up now let's pop this lid open and see what she looks like oh by the way this one's unsexed so I'm not really sure of the gender but I'm just gonna call it a she because we all want female tarantulas don't we well except one of my friend he wants males if you're watching this video you know who you are. <laughs> but he wants males to pair with my females, so I guess that's exceptional. Whoa, just bolted, okay. Wow, it looks gorgeous. Take a look at it. Pretty nice. All right, let's get her in this enclosure. Come on, cooperate, girl. Oh no, that is not good. That is not good at all. Why do you have to do this? Okay, now let's just get a good look of her since she wants to stroll on my arm beautiful girl and that's it i am going to put her in now because i don't want anything else to happen you guys got a good look of her so that's good there we go <sighs> hopefully you enjoy your new enclosure come on go down i don't want to squish your legs come on why do you guys always do this to me all I want is the best for you and you are making it so difficult. Get down, please. Thank you. So there she is. I'm not gonna open this because, yeah, you saw what she did. These were our new additions. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't like it, you're also free to thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, the little red button over there hit that notification bell beside it and yeah if you'd like to support me through patreon link to that as well as the social medias instagram twitter facebook everything is in the description below now on the screen you will see a list of our latest patrons so thank you guys so much for your support really means a lot to me really appreciate it and yeah that's all i have to say thank you so much you guys are awesome also huge shout out to Petco from the Dark Den. If you guys don't know him, go check out his channel. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know him. He just handed over the Tarantula YouTuber crown. Thanks, Petco. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna give a shout out to Winter Knight because he always stays up to capture my milestone when it's like 000, like 200k. 200k? 300k? Yeah, that's awesome because if you guys follow my Twitter, you will know that I always miss it. It's so annoying. When I wake up, it's like 200,100. 300,030. It's so annoying. So, shout out to you, Winton. So, yeah, that'll be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.